I can also reorganize the gas law to come up with another equation uh, that relates density uh, and uh, molecular weight. And so this is a way by which we can calculate molecular weights for gases, or we can calculate densities for gases uh, if they're unknown, uh, basically using the, the ideal gas law, right? So if I know the density for a specific uh, uh, gas, uh, and I want to know what the molecular weight is uh, to try to figure out what it is. So let's say, l l let's say for example, I have an unknown gas and I want to know what it is, right? And uh, for some reason, the um, I know that it's an element, elemental gas for some reason. I don't know. I guess uh, it was a mix up in the lab and I want to know what it is. So um, I can measure its density as we've done previously. Um, and I can measure its temperature and I can measure its pressure. I could put that all together and I can calculate the molecular weight, then look at the periodic table and figure out what my gas is. I can do that. So that's just one reason you may want to use this. Uh, and let's look at an example of how to use this equation uh, and see how, how that goes into effect, okay? So I want to find, find the density. So find the density of propane, C3H8 propane, uh, at 14.7 PSI and 77.0 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's just that. And so if you're looking at something like this, when you're asking densities with ideal gases, uh, right away, take the you should think uh, this, this equation. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, molecular weight is equal to dirt over P. Okay. And um, you, can, you can derive this directly from the ideal gas law, by the way. As you remember, this is grams per mole. This is grams per liter, the grams cancel, and I get volume, and I get moles, it's the same thing. Okay, so it's just a rearrangement of the, of the uh, uh, ideal gas law. I'm looking specifically for the density, so I'm going to solve for density. And so D is uh, equal to P MW over RT. That's, that's that, okay. Uh, now, first things first, I have an R, I should pick an R I like, all right? If you look at my R's here, which I wrote uh, for our convenience, none of these R's has a uh, PSI or a Fahrenheit. By design, I don't want you to, to play with uh, imperial, the inferior imperial, imperial units, so don't. So we will need to convert all of these into SI units uh, for us to use. Okay, so first let's convert uh, pressure into, um, I don't know, ATM, why not? So if I'm gonna convert this into ATM, I can then use, um, I can then use this particular uh, R and then make my life easier. So I'll, 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 my game plan is as follows. I'm gonna convert the pressure into ATM. I'm gonna convert the temperature from Fahrenheit into Kelvin, uh, and then I can use this equation uh, easily. And I will get my answer in grams per liter, uh, and that's that's good enough for me. So that's what I'll do. So my pressure starts out at 14.7 PSI, and I wanna convert this to ATM. Uh, I chose this pretty simply for the same reason. Since you have to make it a little easier just for demonstration. I want to get rid of PSI, I'll put that at the bottom, ATM at the top, and the uh, conversion factor is thus. And so I get that uh, this thing is one ATM. Great. I also have my temperature. I want to go from temperature being in Fahrenheit into uh, Celsius, and then from Celsius I want to go to Kelvin. So I would go from Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, and then into Kelvin. Uh, and I won't bore you with the details. 
Uh, the temperature for this thing, 77 Fahrenheit, I chose on purpose, is room temperature. It, this is going to be 298K. Okay, so that's my temperature. So I have my temperature in K, I have my pressure in ATM. Then now I can select my R as 0.08206 uh, liters atmosphere mole Kelvin. Great. I have Kelvin, I have uh, ATM, uh, and I will get my answer in grams and liters as a result. So again, let's try to uh, use that equation at the top we have here. You will notice I am missing something, so I'm, 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 on purpose I'm doing this. Density is equal to pressure, molecular weight, R, T. I don't have the molecular weight. Well, we can use it to periodic table. This thing here is C3H8. C3H8. C is 12. H is 1. If you add them all together, 12 times 3 is uh, 36 plus 8. It's 44. So my molecular weight from this is going to be 44 grams per mole. And so right away, you could see I, uh, if I'm looking at my R, my this is compatible with it. It's in moles, all right? So my answer will be grams and liters. So uh, my pressure is one ATM. My molecular weight is 44 grams per mole. My R is 0 0.8206 zero point eight two zero six uh was it uh liters uh atmosphere mole k uh, and then my temperature here is going to be 298k right away you can see if you look at the units and i chose this on purpose for us to make it easy for ourselves uh most of most of the problems you can you can do the same thing for yourselves you could just Play around until it's easy for you. The Kelvins would cancel, the moles would cancel, the ATM would cancel, and my unit at the end for density is going to be mass per volume, grams per liter. So uh, if you were to plug all this in to a calculator, you get that this is 1.80 grams per liter, which is far from the actual density for propane.